I am so jazzed about being here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am having the best time of my life. So far. Ne- so far. So far. So far. So far. And I never, ever expected it to be this great. And Well, it must have been a little expectation in there somewhere, but surprise and delight is part of the package. Surprise and delight often. Yeah. And the contrast is so much less now. Yeah. And the and, and now you're talking about trending, and that's a new concept that I haven't heard before from you. But um, what I'm finding myself doing is hearing Abraham in me. Good. And then I and then I of course everything is always working out for me, and there's nothing serious going on here. Right. And you know on and on with just Abraham coming through whether it's Abraham or whoever, whatever the context is. And, and being here, the journey of getting here, of finding out about this cruise and saying yes to it, and everything along the way, not, I mean, that the journey is, is the event. It's not, it, the journey is the manifestation. Isn't that right? Yes. And, and so... You know, I, I am the never day. ending unfolding. Right. Yes. And yes. then I find myself, and then I say, in the unfolding. Yeah. My life is unfolding very, yeah. very beautifully. Yes. And I used to, oh, forever, have the, the engines on both ends of the trains pulling me. And my self doubt was so strong. Yeah. I was so stuck. And, and it's like some, you know, in, in the, in the teachings that I have had with Abraham and other modalities and other teachers, um, I kept on going to find to find this joy, yeah. to find out what life is bringing. Yeah. And uh, and next is just the next moment. And and I, I just. I just wanted to say, you know, how grateful and appreciative I am for the for the learning, and how appreciative I am to be in this in this space, and and to be amongst like-minded people. And I said, I'm going there to make more more like-minded people in my life, because that's you know, I I that we can create together. That that um, that there's more joy and and. Being here. We want to tell you something about this group that has gathered. And what we're going to say to you is going to surprise you because you don't think that you were trending one way and we're going to tell you something just a little different than what you're expecting. And that is there's a lot more diversity of ideas in this group than you want to be there or that you even know for sure. Because diversity is the wonderful thing that causes the expansion of all things. So, yes, this is a like-minded group. Yes, for sure. And yes, there is satisfaction in that. But we want you to hear from us that there's plenty of diversity. And show yourself how your connection to your own source causes you to trend in a way that you hook up with others that are in connection with their source because we want you to be able to go anywhere in the world with any group assembled or not assembled and feel the same sense of well-being wherever you are you don't need a group to be in alignment for you to feel good because you can walk into any space and own the room yeah. Satisfied and eager for more. Satisfied and eager for more. That's what's happening with the world that is so uncomfortable. They're clustering together in groups that they think are like minded. We've been offering an analogy for a while. It's one of our favorite. About imagine a football field and the entire population of the earth is represented on this field. And they're gathered together in little clusters. There's Republicans over there and Democrats over there and independents over there. And there's all different races and all different religions and all different everything. Different piles of of opinions. And people feel sort of secure in their groups as they stand in their groups, not really appreciating the other groups so much. We're in the right group. 
and nobody else is, is what they're all kind of saying. And we see just two groups. One who in this moment are in alignment with who they are and one who in this moment, not so much. And what's interesting is there are aligned ones in every one of those groups that we were talking about earlier and not so much aligned. And what's really interesting is it's like this group that you know is thinking that way about politics is not thinking that way about the vaccination. They must be losing their mind trying to figure out what group to get into. And so on and so on and so on and so on. In other words, everyone has different reasons that they're trending on different ideas the way they are. But nothing ever starts to sort itself out, does it? That's what we heard you say to us. Until you come into true alignment with who you are. And then you sort it out. And then you feel like you feel. That's the way to live life. That is the way to live life. And appreciating everyone else, like-minded or not, because they might be the catalyst that gives you the best step one moment and causes you to launch something so important into your vortex that when you line up with it, you'll feel blessed forevermore. And without that, you wouldn't have that. We are really all in this together. I don't have anything else right now. You've figured it all out, actually. Oh, so nice to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Thank you, Ben, and, and your mom for telling me it was 1 o'clock and not 12. <laughs> and take it easy and focus, and you got one question. <gasps> okay. And thank you, Angel, for telling me last night to raise my hand again if I want because that's half of a question right okay. there <laughs> um, in my meditations they have been really powerful since I have been on this boat and this morning my inner being I felt it out dancing with me just playing with me and um, they said to me there's a valid reason for everything and where you are and it might not be comfortable like me sitting at Esther's table the other night but to just Stay with it and go with the flow. The valid reason is you've attracted it and that's valid. Doesn't mean validated by something outside of you. It doesn't mean that there's a council of 12 agreeing with you. It means that you get what you think about and that's how creation is and that's valid. Right, and I just wanted to enjoy my dinner and be near your company. Um, also something came to me and it said, I can connect my mind with the divine mind and guarantee myself peace in any moment, in any situation, with non-resistance peace with True, it. true. But you got to be in the vibrational vicinity, yeah? You can't be at the bottom half of the emotional scale and pick up on things that are at the upper half of the scale. So what statement would be true before that one is true? Uh, when I am in alignment... Trending, yeah, trending, trending, alignment, alignment, right. absolutely. I got a call this morning that my, my sister probably is going to get into a nursing home. I'm so happy and she'll have 24-hour care and I'll feel at peace that she... You're happy? <laughs> Tell your face. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> We're teasing you a little bit. So what you're demonstrating are mixed emotions here. You're offering words. So what you're witnessing is a releasing of resistance, which is what relief is. Yes? Yeah. I, last, please forgive me. I have been up here before, but um, I, <laughs> they haven't condemned you to begin with. So they're not having to forgive you. It's you thank that you. has to forgive you. I like, and thank you. <laughs> So, but you don't have a lot more time. I so said I was writing here. a new story, and I would like to ask the audience if it's okay if I share my, share my new story with them. Would they want to hear it? How long is it? It's quick. <laughs> yes. I'm a strong, confident woman that people gravitate to. Is it all right with you if we interrupt as you move along? Sure. All right. <laughs> Go again. I'm a strong, confident woman that people gravitate to. I'm a strong, confident woman that people who are also in that vibrational vicinity gravitate to. I like that. I've written several books that have literally flown off the shelves. 
I write books and it doesn't matter to me whether they sell or not because I write them because they come through me, not for any other motive. I have come full circle to realizing my purpose in life. I'm in the process continually evolving and I'll never get it done. <laughs> Through telling my story and my memoir, You Can't Break My Spirit, people were genuinely inspired. The second... The name of the book is You Can't Break My Spirit? Yes. My book is entitled My Spirit is Unbreakable. Love it. Thank I, you. on the other hand, am a basket case. <laughs> The second book, reputation book of my experiences and the healing process that launched. Now, we're going to stop you here just for a little bit. And this is a wonderful conversation that we're having amidst the other conversations that we've been having. And this is an example, we talked about it in the last two segments, of trying too hard to manipulate the universe that you've already told what you want. In other words, this doesn't sound like someone who's lining themselves up with something that they know. This sounds like someone that's making darn sure that the universe understands what you want. <laughs> Am I too specific? It isn't the specifics of it. It's the mood of it. It's the determination of it that could be softer. It would be like Esther calling the hotels around the country and saying, we're going to bring 2,000 people to this hotel, whether you're ready or not. And they say, well, our mandate is that we have to social distance. And so we've got the chairs spread out really far apart. And Esther would say, but I have many more seats sold than that. We're going to do it our way. And they're going to say, well, we're going to do it our way. In other words, it's sort of a stubborn determination that we're hearing from you. Soften it up just a little bit. In other words, talk about it like it's already done and like you're just describing what's done, not like you're making it happen with your story. I do have a stubborn determination. That is but did you hear what we just said? Yes. Don't use your will. Trust the power of the universe. Use the grace of the universe and the trust you have in the universe and the knowledge that you have of the laws of the universe. Just back up a little bit and be easier about it. Can you feel what we're talking about? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Continue. Um, that, that book launched the most amazing nonprofit organization to help women and children who are in abusive environments to escape, heal, and thrive from, from the trauma. We get where you're going with this, but when you're trying to help people escape, your attention is upon what they're escaping from. And we know what you're doing. It's good. You're reaching for those who aren't ready for this. You're reaching for those who are still wanting to blame something else for how they've been living. So in your process, just be sure before you start giving it to others, that you understand that there's nothing serious going on here. And that whatever they've lived has caused them to create something that they want and that they can get to it. Because if you get too heavy on the fixing what's broken, that's the way you trend and that's who you attract. And do you know what is the most frustrating thing in the world for a teacher like you to do? To attract an audience that isn't willing to take responsibility for their own motion forward. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and it is about not being A lot of people them. want that audience. You know why? It's the biggest one. Oh, yeah. It's the biggest audience. But it's not the audience that you came to teach. No, I want to teach women to feel worthy of their greatness and hold their power because yeah. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk about my man.